Caillou had enjoyed a long summer break from school. He'd had lots of fun going to water parks, camping in the garden with Daddy and Gilbert, and playing in the park with Rosie and all his friends. But now, it was time to go back to school. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to get up. You don't want to be late for your first day back at school. Uh, do I have to go back to school, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've had a lovely summer, but now it's time to go back and see all your friends. And besides, I thought you wanted to show off your new lunchbox. Oh, yeah! I forgot! And look, Caillou. Here at the end of your bed, your new shoes. And your new backpack. <gasps> do you need any help getting dressed? It's okay. I can get dressed all by myself. Okay. I'm going to go and fill your lunchbox with a special surprise lunch. A surprise? That's right. A special treat for your first day back at school. Hey, Caillou, you look great. Are you ready for your first day back at school? Almost, but I can't tie my laces. Come and sit down. I'll teach you. First, you take one lace and put it under the other to make a cross shape. Then, we make a bunny ear out of each lace and cross one bunny ear over the other. The bunny then runs around the tree and then down into its hole, and you're done! Wow! Why don't you try the other one? First, I make a cross. Then the bunny goes in its hole, then around the tree. <laughs> Almost, Caillou. Keep practicing and you'll have it in no time. Caillou, look at you all dressed by yourself and ready for school. Daddy helped me with my laces. Is my lunchbox surprise ready? Here it is. You're not allowed to peek inside before lunchtime. Otherwise, it won't be a surprise. I promise. We should get going, Caillou. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <sighs> nope, I'll go and do it now. <laughs> My, you do look grown up. Caillou made sure to take extra care brushing his teeth so they were all nice and shiny. Well, Caillou, have a lovely day at school and enjoy your surprise. Bye-bye, Mommy. your lunchbox, Caillou. Wow! And a banana with my name on it? How did it grow like that? Wow! I've never seen that before. It's my special surprise. <laughs> Today was one of Caillou's favorite days of the year. Valentine's Day. But he was nowhere to be found. Leo? Here! Clementine? Here! Caillou? Caillou! Happy Valentine's Day! Caillou had been chosen to be the class Cupid and deliver all of the Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> oh, hello, Cupid! My, don't you look great! My mom made me this costume to wear when I deliver all the cards. How lovely. Class, who wants to make Valentine's cards for Cupid to deliver? Me! 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 me, me. me. Everyone was having lots of fun decorating cards. They drew beautiful flowers, stuck heart-shaped pieces of paper to them, and covered them in shiny glitter. But Caillou was getting impatient. He just wanted to deliver them all now. 
Is everyone done yet? <laughs> Almost, Cupid. Don't worry. Now, you hold on to these, Caillou. You can deliver them after lunch. After lunch? Caillou ate his lunch as fast as he could. He was so excited to be Cupid. Finally! All right, everyone. Tidy your lunch boxes away, please. Careful, Caillou. There's no rush. Caillou just wanted to deliver the Valentine's cards as fast as he could. He thought waiting was very boring. It was finally time to give everyone their cards, and Caillou could hardly <laughs> contain himself. Caillou felt just like the real Cupid. Everyone loved their cards. And this one is for... Sarah! Thanks, Caillou. Caillou had had a lot of fun being Cupid for the day and giving everyone their cards, but he felt a little sad. There were no cards for him. What's wrong, Caillou? Everyone got Valentine's Day cards except me. Oh no, that's a shame. But did you enjoy being Cupid and celebrating this special day? Yeah, everyone really liked my Cupid costume. Oh, I'm sure they did. The important thing is that you all had fun. I guess. Caillou was still a bit sad that he hadn't received a Valentine's card. But the day wasn't over yet. This one is for you, Caillou. For me? <laughs> it must have gotten delivered here instead of at school. Look, Mommy. It's from Isabel. Caillou had enjoyed being Cupid for Valentine's Day and delivering the cards to everyone. But he really enjoyed receiving one, too. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his <laughs> ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <gasps> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. And some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. Oh! See? You pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent.
Excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou? There's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. Caillou was going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup! Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy! A slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See? Rule number one. No running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool. But now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, 
but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I could have another try. Great, and don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again.